Hello and welcome to the Morton College Virtual Exploration. My name is Gabriela Mata. I am the Director of Student Activities at Morton College. Today we're going to learn a little bit about how you can create your very own college experience um, at Morton College, as well as learn how you can meet um, people on campus, develop relationships with other students, and work on how you can improve um, your leadership skills. A way that you can do that is actually by becoming involved with one of our 16 active clubs and organizations. Some of those clubs and organizations include um, topics around art, theater, music, science, and so much more. Some of the organizations that I actually want to highlight are organizations that are part of a larger network, um, meaning that they belong to a nationally recognized organization, such like the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, um, IGNITE, and the National Society of Leadership and Success. Uh, I want to take a couple uh, seconds here to talk a little bit about NSLS, which is an amazing organization that is offered to um, all of our students, uh, especially those that are new to Morton College. And the reason why it's offered to our new students is so that you all can um, work on meeting more students, um, develop leadership skills that you can use in and outside of the college, um, in your academics, um, you know, be encouraged to participate in clubs and organizations and around the community as well. Um, with NSLS, um, you um, would become a member um, with a, a $95 membership fee, um, which is a one-time fee. And you would have access to a number of different resources, um, as well as uh, different scholarships that are specifically offered to NSLS members. I also want to um, share how uh, volunteering is extremely important um, for many of the students to continue developing those skills. Um, some of the volunteer opportunities are available on campus, in the community, and of course around the Chicagoland area. So every now and then you'll more than likely see uh, representatives from Morton College at 5Ks, um, parades, uh, community events, and so much more. Uh, of course, the other way that you can also be involved on campus is by participating in a number of different events and activities that we typically host throughout the year. There are many, many, many other um, opportunities that you can be a part of. One that I love to stress to students, if you are one that um, is vocal and really, really interested in creating the changes for um, for our students and for the community is by becoming a student trustee. The student trustee essentially has the responsibility of representing the student body in a number of different areas, such like the um, meetings that we have with our board of trustees, um, attending conferences throughout the year, uh, meetings where they can speak on behalf of the Morton College students, and so many other um, opportunities that that our student trustee is a part of. Specifically with our office in the student activities office, we um, we we have a, a number of different um, uh, resources um, that we like to offer. One and the most popular is of course the student ID. All of our students um, can pick up their student ID in our office. It's a pretty easy process, um, but one of the reasons why uh, we ask our students to have their student ID is so that you are able to access the library and be able to print on site. Um, uh, a cool trick also, if uh, you're unable to make it up to the student activities, um, you can definitely get your student ID in the library as well. 
The student ID also um, gives you the opportunity to receive a number of different discounts. Um, some of those discounts, of course, are through our office. Um, we typically sell tickets for AMC, Six Flags, um, Chicago Bulls games, and so much more. But in addition to that, um, if you ever find yourself in a store um, shopping and it's something that you want to um, you know, look into purchase, uh, this is definitely uh, an easy way for you to ask if they have some sort of student discount so you'd be able to present the student ID. Um, so some of the campus events that you can participate in um, is definitely the Welcome Week. This always happens during the first week of classes. So um, typically on campus, you'll be able to hear loud music, um, either in the courtyard or in the student commons, and be able to meet other students that are currently active um, through the clubs and organizations, meet representatives from other departments um, at the college, and um, be able to you know, walk away with so many different freebies. This is honestly the best time um, for you to start exploring how you want the semester or your experience at Morton College to look like. Um, every semester, uh, we also have um, month-long events like the Latinx Heritage Month. Um, in September specifically, we tend to host um, a really large taquisa, um, you know, a cookout, uh, a taco bar uh, for our students and our college community. So that's always so much fun um, to participate in and, you know, what more than uh, coming out for some free food. We also have uh, do-it-yourself activities that we like to typically host on Fridays. Um, as of lately, we've done a couple uh, virtually, so those are always fun. Uh, the Student Involvement Fair, this is the one um, event that we host every semester where you can actually meet current students that are involved with the clubs and organizations face-to-face -face and ask you know, how you can be involved and a little bit more about what they do and what they offer and how you can benefit from being a part of their club or their organization. And of course, with entertainment, uh, we tend to collaborate with other uh, offices um, at the college so that we can bring some of the best uh, magicians, um, spoken word artists, and so many more to the campus. In addition, uh, we also have a Panther Pantry that is very new um, to the SAO. Uh, it is not housed in our office, but it does fall under the Student Activities Office. Um, this is very new and open to all Morton College students. As for the student life for um, Morton College, we often have um, many activities throughout the, the semester. I would even say an easy four to five different activities that you can attend every week. Um, they range from different topics, different times of the day. Um, so if you ever find yourself in the restroom at Morton College, you'll find the flush which typically has all of the events and activities that are going on in that month. You can also find our information in our social media, um, as well as um, by stopping by our office to request more information. Some of the leadership opportunities are definitely uh, through your participation in the clubs and organizations. Uh, each club and organization has um, different roles that you can be a part of, whether it's president, secretary, treasurer, et cetera. You get to really learn and exercise um, what those roles look like um, and really, you know, learn a little bit more hands-on about those um, particular roles. Some of the conferences that we attend are mainly in the Chicagoland area, but there's also an opportunity to travel outside of the, um, of the state. 
um, some of those conferences like Haku, um, which is um, an, a, a conference in, in higher education. Um, there's conferences specific to student leadership um, and so many more um, opportunities that come from uh, your experiences uh, in, in conferences. Of course, we also offer uh, student aid positions in the student activities office and as well as throughout the college in other offices. So this is typically what um, a calendar looks like for us in our events. So um, this is just a quick example from April. Um, it is a mock, so many of these um, events had to be either moved or canceled due to COVID-19. Um, but as you can see, we have meetings, we have events that are hosted by some of our clubs and organizations, we have lectures, we have um, a conference here um, with the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, movie night, a collaboration with the library, blood drives, um, and the HOPE Scholarship 5K walk slash run, which is um, an effort to fundraise for the HOPE Scholarship, which also falls under the student trustee. So this is typically what student life on campus looks like. So you can see a variety of um, different events. Um, the top left, uh, these are students during our spring welcome week. It's a do-it-yourself activity. Um, and I believe they're pop sockets for, um, for your phone. Um, over to the right, we have volunteers. Uh, this is from the Women's Empowerment Conference last year. Uh, this is a very new conference that we've added to uh, the list of programming for Morton College. Um, and these volunteers are um, leaders in the, in the community um, through their leadership with uh, the clubs and organizations that they are a part of. Um, the bottom left is also a picture from uh, the Women's Empowerment Conference. This is in our theater. Um, so you can see that uh, with some of our events, even though um, primarily we have events for our students, we'll also have events that are open to the community. And so this is what um, attendance looks like. Then um, over to the right, we have, um, this is actually what the space in our student union looks like. And so we have a speaker, um, I believe for Latinx Heritage Month last year. And this is what attendance looks, looks like um, in our space. What I want to highlight is that um, for many of the events that we have, we typically love to include um, giveaways. We like to include food. Um, so there's never you know, um, a, a, a reason why um, you know, we, we can't have you stop by um, for our events. We'll have giveaways, food, so you can come, relax, bring a friend. Um, and stay after, you know, to continue those conversations, ask questions, um, or just enjoy the space in the student union. That's pretty much it for the student activities office. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I also just want to take this opportunity to talk a little bit more about um, other um, ways that you can also get involved. Like I mentioned, you know, you can definitely work in our office. We'd love to have you work with us. Um, stay involved by making sure that you follow our social media pages. So our Facebook is Morton College Student Activities Office. Then we also have a Twitter and Instagram at SAO underscore MC. If there are any questions to any of the information that I've shared, please feel free to email us at student.activities at morton.edu. Uh, feel free to also give us a call at 708-656-8000, extension 2262. If you are ever on campus and would like to stop by, visit us, get your student ID, you're more than welcome to visit us. We are in the Student Activities Office, second floor, building C, room 240C.
Thank you and hope to see you in the fall.